Individually, we are all unique. Together, we are powerful as a destination. The Caribbean is competing against the brand Europe, the brand Asia, the brand Africa, and as a region, needs to have a single branded communication. Tourism is the only way to help our country, to give work to our people. The way the world is moving today is that it's consolidating, and the more effort that people can put in as groups acting together, I think the better the result for the region and the better the result for the consumers and customers. and function of the Caribbean Tourism Organization, generally known as the CTO. We will meet the amazing team in the offices of million people in a diversity of accommodations, a diversity of cultures and history and topography and food and everything else. And it's just such an exciting mix of Spanish and French and Dutch and English. It's just an incredible... We pull people together, we pull ideas together, we pull resources together, and we bat for Caribbean tourism. But it's absolutely the right thing to be doing, marketing the Caribbean as one entity, with all of its fantastic variety of opportunities, island by island, to do whatever you want to do. Being part of CTO is not being part only of a group, but a family, and that will help us a lot, because we don't have the experience that CTO can have, that the member of CTO can have. And there are big islands, small islands, rich islands, poor islands, and uh, all this difference will give us opportunity to understand what we can do, what we have to avoid to do also. It pulls, simply pulls everything together and hits the customer between the eyes with a very strong product. It generates enormous PR, it creates economies of scale at trade shows and in terms of the impact that it has in the marketplace. But I think the economies of scale is one of the biggest things because you've got a lot of countries with relatively limited budgets and at a CTO level you can work, make those budgets at the top level work a lot harder than the individual budgets can in some. So I think the Caribbean tourism organization is bigger than the sum of its parts. CTO is a force and um, when you go as a delegation, as a, as a region, your, your message is put across in a different manner than as an island if you go to defend your personal interests. CTO's offices are located in Barbados, the US and the UK. The CTO's remit is to represent its members' interests globally, particularly throughout the Americas and Europe. This gives the CTO a wide reach internationally, providing its member countries the best opportunity to market themselves individually under the brand Caribbean. We meet the team at the Barbados headquarters. We try to come together, achieve what the organization needs, especially the secretaries. We all come together, we work together. I'm responsible for the coordination of tourism research for our member countries. I manage uh, several of the website properties that we own, uh, primarily One Caribbean, which is the corporate website, the membership website, where our members can get tourism statistics, tourism information, tourism documents, the CTO library, a whole huge set of data available for them as members. About 20% of the funds we manage are actually from external sources, sources external to the region, 
and we use those funds to um, access, serve, to access, create services for the members and benefits to the members that they couldn't access themselves. Bonita Morgan, head of regional human resources, also runs the day-to-day -day operations of the CTO Foundation, an initiative designed to provide opportunities for Caribbean nationals to pursue studies in the areas of tourism, hospitality, and language training. We have been able to support so many bright, engaging persons, you know, young and not so young, in terms of supporting them financially to continue studies in some area that is of importance to them and also of importance to the region. And I saw the CTU offering this scholarship to go and do tourism studies. So I told my friend, uh, can I apply? And she said, yes, yes, apply. So I went on and I applied. and. You know, we all met up and we were interviewed, and that day, which was very interesting, it was the first time that the CTU's um, scholarship was administered, and they offered all of us some level of funding, which was quite phenomenal, because you thought it was really one person leaving there with, the, with all the goodies. I've been a recipient of the foundation study grants, and this allowed me to pursue my studies at the associate degree and also at the bachelor's and master's degree. I went off to the University of Surrey and did a master's in tourism planning and development. There are many of us in the Caribbean who dream and think of studying, and because of sometimes our financial hardships, we are unable to fully complete our studies. But the foundation is able to fill this gap by offering partial and full scholarship to many de de deserving nationals. In Barbados, we rely on them a lot for um, research information but also trends analysis because that's critical for us in terms of our marketing efforts. The most profit we get is, is, is from training and education. They come to the island uh, one, one or more times a year and they do uh, workshops. We profit from the, the marketing and the sustainable uh, tourism uh, development, what they are. Uh, promoting. Um, Dominica also utilizes CTO to a great extent for human resource development. Um, we've, we've most recently um, put four, four properties to the Hospitality Assured um, um, program, uh, but we're also looking to do the, uh, the tourism curriculum in the primary schools and we're looking at the model that CTO has put together. One of the biggest issues that we've had to grapple with in recent times is the air passenger duty, which is a UK imposed tax that is just, it's simply unfair, it's a travesty. The CTO lobbies um, governments of our major source markets and, and in fact other international organizations in order to make sure that the tourism interest of the Caribbean is adequately put in the, on the, in the international arena. I think it makes absolute sense um, for the Caribbean to lobby on issues together that affect all Caribbean destinations. Um, it makes sense probably from the perspective of cost because it's not everybody doing their own different thing um, but also in terms of the messaging um, because it packs a more powerful punch um, if the whole Caribbean comes together and says this issue affects all of us rather than it being individual um, countries pursuing their, their own issues um, separately. It's absolutely essential uh, that countries in the Caribbean come together under the banner of CTO. If individual countries try to make representations on tourism and tourism policy, it simply doesn't have the same weight. The number one source of visitors for the Caribbean is the US. Some of the member countries get business from a variety of source markets, but overall, North America, the US and Canada, provide the bulk of Caribbean visitors. So having a New York office presence is important for CTO members and for Caribbean nationals. We meet the New York team. Caribbean Tourism, good afternoon. 
my job is to ensure that the Caribbean is marketed in the in the, the markets that are identified for the Americas, which are the United States, Canada, Latin America, and the Caribbean. My day-to-day -day, uh, work with CTO includes being the liaison with the CTO chapters. Um, one of my major responsibilities is coordinating trade shows. I'm the internet content administrator, creating that website and assisting Ronald and Silma. I'm now in charge of feedback, which uh, entails answering queries from uh, individuals who have access to the www.caribbeantravel.com. There are many Caribbean organizations here. Every colleague here is from one different destination in the Caribbean. And I'm from one from Puerto Rico. I love our working with CTO, uh, the challenges of uh, working with uh, 33 Caribbean countries, the challenge of working with such a diverse uh, uh, group of uh, countries, the Spanish-speaking countries, the English-speaking countries, the French, the Dutch. Here in New York, we have Little Haiti. We have an area that um, is predominantly Jamaican. We have such an influx of, of Puerto Ricans that live here in this state. We have so much of this Caribbean flavor and flair already living in this state. The proximity to the Caribbean from New York is so close and so easy and, and such a no-brainer as far as a vacation destination. New York City is the largest Caribbean territory. Although it doesn't have official status, if you take a look at the population, the Caribbean population around the New York City metropolitan area, as well as the level of expertise and professionalism and financial resources that the ex-nationals, the patriots, and people of Caribbean heritage in this region have, you understand that it's absolutely essential to have a presence in New York because it truly is a gateway to the diaspora. I'm originally from Grenada, and I've been in this country for 30 years now. I was born and raised in Barbados, and then I moved to New York, spent 10 years there, and then moved to New Jersey and spent another 10 years. My children definitely feel Caribbean, um, more Caribbean so than American. As a matter of fact, I'll say 80% Caribbean. Um, and not only from a cultural standpoint, but from the cuisine and the different type of foods that we cook at our home. Felicia Prasad is the chair of the CTO's New York Diaspora Committee. The diaspora are a valuable resource for the CTO. They contribute to the promotion and branding of the Caribbean, they are influencers and natural ambassadors, and they return to the region as tourists in large numbers. And we invite members, key members of organizations in the diaspora to come out and meet with us. We have it in, in New York City in Manhattan because everyone is coming from all different boroughs, so we wanted to have a central place. The CTO, I think, serves a good purpose because, for example, at the forum that we held in June, the CTO, I think, being somewhat um, objective then stands and sits sort of above all the Caribbean nations that are represented here and so was a good independent voice to, to hold such a forum that we had in June and as a consequence then allows leverage for all the Caribbean islands to actually then hear a voice to be heard as the entire Caribbean. And now they hear about what the CTO is doing in the diaspora. Uh, they, they heard uh, recently in June about the website that we launched, about contract opportunities that we're going to list on that website so that we're not just doing this as a one-way street. The CTO is also interested in tapping into the human resource that is here in the diaspora. The whole team Rediscover Home is a buildup that the CTO is doing with all these committees that it's forming all across the world to really push people to say, listen, we recognize our diaspora, we really understand, we really appreciate you, and now it's time to really come back home, whether home is Jamaica or Haiti or Guyana, but we want you to discover the whole Caribbean. We here in the diaspora recognize that we have a significant role that we can play and that we should play in, in being that tier that could help to ensure that tourism is not just a seasonal product, but a 12 month of the year product. The Caribbean diaspora is beginning to recognize the Caribbean tourism organization as the go-to place for information on anything that's happening in the Caribbean, from disaster 
preparedness and disaster relief to just tourism information. Part of the CTO, um, we are one of the small islands, and so I think it gives us a voice and it gives us a presence within the market. There is so much on offer for the members, taking part in the road shows for the travel agents, um, taking part in stands. We share stands at ILTM. Bermuda are taking part. We took part in the dive show. Um, various shows we've taken part with the CTO. I think the Rum Fest. Whereas if we took our own stand, it's actually quite expensive. And for some of the smaller countries, they can't afford those budgets. Um, so it gives all of the members a chance to take part in the activities that they might not have been able to afford before. When it comes to the CTO and the events they, all, they actually put on in the UK, and I have to say in the last probably two years, you know, that really has, um, they've really upped what they do within the market. So we have a very much more of an opportunity to buy into those pro, um, campaigns, events. Um, it just helps us with our budget. We don't have huge budgets, so we have to maximise every opportunity that we have, and we work very much with the CTO, whether it's on the trade arm or any consumer events that they're doing. And yes, it is, it's very important for us. First of all, we're one of the main hubs of cruise ships in the Caribbean, uh, and with the collaboration of the other ministers of tourism that belong to CTO, we can, as one voice, conduct uh, our uh, relationships uh, and so that we can all benefit with the relationships in, in the cruise ship market with our partners such as Carnival and Royal Caribbean among others. We meet the team in London. Here in the UK we work very closely with our members, the country members, as well as the private sector to ensure that the Caribbean has a strong brand presence. We also lead on advocacy issues as well, work very closely with the trade and also try to have a continuous stream of media and consumer events and promotions taking place. Any projects, any activities or events um, I normally coordinate and assist with the coordination of and what we do is we basically put on shows and events, we take part in trade shows and consumer shows, we also make publications basically to encourage travel to the Caribbean from the UK and Europe. I do the accounts for CTO, I organise, uh, I work on the events for CTO but, and I also work on the recruitment. Anything regionally that's something that benefits the region, not individually, especially in UK and Europe, then, you know, first and foremost, they, they direct them to CTO. One of the values that we bring is that, as well as um, having our office here in London, we also work with representatives in Holland, France, Germany and Italy. The advantage is that some of our members are very strong in key markets, but then there are other markets that a destination may not be as strong in. And one of the key benefits to them for working under the Caribbean brand is that through our various strengths we can support each other. Mm -hmm. 